Previously on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Teehee this. The Great Pumpkin King! I can't believe you went in there! Now wash your hands, you filthy bear! Yeah, well, you ain't taking a bite out of this booty today, and you're gonna take a bite out of it any other day, fool. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I'm your host, Silent Senior Ryan, and I'm willing to bet you guys probably will not be able to tell where I'm at. Besides, other than listening to music and saying the very vague answer, Grunty's Lair. Actually, I am right where I wouldn't think to be. I am behind the giant hat of Grunt Tilda the Witch, and apparently. Behind there, there's an extra man. I was not aware that there was actually an extra man back there. That was kind of cool, but anyway, that wasn't the main reason I really sh wanted to show off that. What I really wanted to show off is something I forgot to get in, uh, right after getting Mad Monster Mansion taken care of. Right on the nose. The nose, man. She knows that I'm on her nose. And one of her, in her left, her right eye, actually, because when you look at it, it's, you look and you think it's her left, but when she looks at it, it's her right eye, technically. But anyway. There's a gold chicky! <laughs> gold nuggets! That was from the witch switch we pressed in Mad Monster Mansion. Ow. Really? Really? I took damage from that height? That's very weird. I wouldn't, but maybe what? Seven inches off the ground? It's weird. Anyway, we're gonna co What now? Tweety says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. Yeah, right. And your freaking rhymes aren't getting old fast. Yeah, I don't think so. Ooh. If we notice, the since the water te water temperature... Yeah, really. We, ch we really, we boiled the water up so the temperature's rising. You know, the water level rose. So we actually need, we actually have more exploring to do in this place. Now that that's, uh, we took care of that earlier. Let's see, we went down there already, so now that we're actually able to have access up here, we can explore a little bit. I'm kind of excited, I guess, in one sense, even though I'm dreading it, and I'm kind of like, oh my goodness, here it goes. A place that is very nightmarish for just about anybody who plays through it. Yep. Good old Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh my gosh. I guess the nerve-wracking sense of it is kind of exciting, but I'm going to admit you guys, I'm really like, kind of dreading doing it. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, there, there's a warp right there. It's not much of a distance, but hey, if you don't want to swim in the water, there you go. You don't have to get your feet, you don't even have to bother getting your feet wet. You can get over here, and then you have to get your feet wet that way, so. Over here with this rare, rare box is... There's a switch, so let's press it. We know what this does. It raises the water level up. Oh, okay. I see. Very interesting indeed. It seems they are trying to send us into a wild goose chase. Either that or they just want us to reach new heights, literally, in life. <laughs> Ugh, sorry, my nose decided to act up about five minutes ago for some random reason. I'm not sure why, but it just did. So I'm like, oh, should I should I just like restart the record? And I'm like, nah, I changed my mind and said I don't think so. Um, down this way, I think I think we can look. There's nothing really down that way. It's just basically a closed off window. You can take a look at Mad Monster Mansion painting through there. So don't bother going that way if you if you're that curious. I mean, you can go look if you if you want to check to see if I'm right. But that's what's down that way. So right up here is Rusty Bucket Bay, and let me tell you guys, it's a nasty. It's a real nasty boogie. It gives just about any like speedrunner, let's player, walkthrough artist, whatever you want to name them, the blues. It, re it well, it doesn't give them the blues. It gives them excitement, but it also if they're trying to if they have like a no death run, this is gonna ruin their streak. I promise you that. It's it's if it and if it doesn't, it's gonna come pretty darn close to doing it. So anyway, let's go ahead and 
start the party off. Oh yeah. Let's begin. Start your engines! Yeah, it's that good. It's just that it, I've, it's one song I've heard quite plenty because it's one place I find myself having to redo and redo and redo no matter how many times I do it. Okay. One thing I like to do, this is probably a little weird. I'm like, holy crap, this guy is like going all over the place. Um, I like to go to the head of the ship, actually. Get off that. Get off that. Get off that. Thank you. Right over here. Excuse me. Down over here where these little pipes are. You can actually enter some of them. Some of them, with the ones with the eyes, you cannot. They'll just bite you. But over here, this is the first thing I want to go ahead and do. Grab these notes, and I'm going to press the switch. Since we're in the, in the f engine room, whatever you want to call it. And I actually like taking care of that room first, so that's where I'm going to head, actually. Go away. I don't want what you're selling, sir. Go play shipmate somewhere else. Wait, isn't there a mumbo token? Yeah, I'm going to grab that. I'm probably going to have to end up redoing some of this crap, but I'm going to go ahead and just get these notes while I'm over at this end. Because it can be a real pain in the booty. Rare, rare? I'm not going to lie to you, dudes. You like to make sure you're known, don't you? Hmm. Maybe I should consider doing that. Just put like silent senior on every with a no nine behind it on every little thing I do. Nah. I think my slurps enough for people to remember. <laughs> that or my annoying sense of humor. Who knows? Maybe it is funny. Maybe it's not. To be funny or not to be funny. That is the question. All right. So anyway, we're gonna head back. At, we're gonna head into the engine room. Go ahead and get that out of the way because that is a real pain in. My rump bump. A rump bump. Hang on, let's go ahead and take care of this fool. And I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this fool. So that way no matter which entrance which side I go through, I might slow it up when I go take care of Dun 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 The Scary Test. I'm telling you, man. It's really like a heart race. Or heart heart or a heartbreak event kind of thing, you know. Yeah, make sure you grab that honeycomb ring that's just above there. That would not be good if you forgot that. This room, you want to be very careful. If you fall, you die. Simple enough. But what if I let... You're gonna fall and die anyway. Even if you manage to land on something. Oh my gosh, wow. Down below, like some of the pipes that are kind of sticking out. Sticking out of the ground, man. Um, you're gonna still to die, pretty much. You're guaranteed game over. Unless, of course, you have some kind of glitch or some other weird thing or other. You will not make it out alive. That sounds like a line from Magmore Caverns on it. No, actually, isn't that Ridley's hideout? Yeah. Never mind. Don't even ask. <laughs> I, I like to make sure I'm lined up with this, because this is really quite a dangerous room, actually. Alrighty. And they, this, these little things don't give you much time, really, to do much. So you gotta be real careful, but you gotta be quick. Alright, then we're gonna jump about midway so we don't freaking have it send us sailing off. Alright, a little tip you probably don't know. When you hit the switch, that little spinning pipe actually slows down. Yeah, that's gonna slow those down, but it, that's not gonna be enough, because we actually have to hit both of them. If we plan to get that jiggy that's there, and that's what we're planning to do. Ugh, I don't know why I got that. I know why, because I'm gonna be needing to get in the habit of getting those. <laughs> Already. Rather than go freaking across that crap again, let's go ahead and wait for this. You gotta kind of angle, go ahead and angle at it. Ow. Oh, yep, here we go. And so it begins. Oh, Kidoki then. Let's try that again, shall we? By pressing the switch once more. There we go. Got that taken care of. Hopefully we won't do like we did before and make a fool out of ourselves. Of course, and again, that's usually easy for me to do on a daily basis anyway, so... As I was saying, you have to do that at an angle. And you kind of have to jump just as it's going, so that way you miss the fan and continue going through, so... Yeah, we'll go ahead and get this Jiggy right here. <laughs> jiggy! Golden Nugget! 
nuggets. Gold nuggets. I love my golden nuggets. Oh yeah. All right, wait for this. Stop spinning here. Come on, thank you. Alrighty. And all right, actually, this is what I like to do is I like to wait until there we go. Until that's actually start going, spinning around, and then hit the switch. So that way, when it comes around, this and this little cutscene stops, I can just go straight across. As soon as that, yeah, there we go. And as you can see, we are timed. Great. Doesn't that sound fantastic? Absolutely, man. Freaking just fabulous. All right, come on. Oh, sugar funny. Sugar foots! Dang it! Alrighty, let's try this again, shall we? Hopefully with less failage this time around. Although I doubt that highly. <laughs> I sense I will fail this again, and again, and again. Most definitely without a freaking doubt. What is that, death count number two? Maybe I'll make a new record and say die about 20 times before I actually get the jiggy. Who knows? Then I could be a winner of the biggest loser. Booyah! Oh yeah! 43, 42. Hey! That divides evenly by 7 and 6. Okay, yeah, sorry. I got calculus math, or not calculus, that's algebra math, but I got calculus on my mind. I got crap to do for that. Alrighty, you want to head to the head end of the boat itself? Or as uh, they say in Funny Nemo, the butt! He touched the butt! And right down here. Quickly, 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 quickly! Don't touch the fan. Get in there, get in there, thank you. Get the jiggy! Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick. Get out of there, get out of there, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get, 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 get. Out, 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 out! Whew! Yeah, as you see, as you can see, I lose air as I'm swimming in the water. But as she also points out, you lose even more if you go swimming underwater because this entire like oceanish, ocean-like area has been transformed into an oily, slick mess. It's disgusting. I'm not even gonna lie. It that's partially why this world is really nasty. Is you don't really have any place to go other than I mean the platforming and the water in his place is just disgusting. Come on, dude. Dude, come on, get out. Dude, dude, come on. Shoot, come on, there's gotta be a ladder here. I know there's a- oh, shoot, there is no ladder. There's a box. Let me get the box. Get the box, get the box. Get the box, get the box! It's like the rescuers from down under. Uh-uh. That's right, you better run away, fool. You knew what was coming. Yeah, I know, I passed my notes. Go on, I awesome. I'm just pure awesome, man. Alrighty, cool. We got that out of the way. So we got the hardest jiggy out of the way. Unfortunately, we still got to go back in that disgusting room because there's some musical notes I missed, and I got to get those out of the way. There's also some mumbo tokens I'm gonna go ahead and grab. Ugh, great, fantastic, isn't it? Isn't life grand? It reminds me of a chapter I once read from some kind of fictional like story that somebody typed up. Although it's probably not one I would recommend to everybody. <laughs> Kind of an acquired taste, I guess you could say, or something, I don't know. It's a little, di it's a little different, per se. Anyway, so in here we go, we gotta freaking climb all these gears and all these little lever levers and all that fun stuff and try not to die, hopefully. Dude, don't even. Unfortunately, now that the switch is reset, these little stinker things here are gonna keep going off again like they normally do. But once you hit them, these little spinning pipes actually do slow down, and eventually they do stop completely. If you have the switch hit, and that's where you, that's how you're going to be able to get that mumbo token, and the other one that's like right over here. Come on, get up there. All right, come on. Quick, 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 quick. I don't know, is it over there? No, it isn't. It's, it's the other one I think I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's over by the other side. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that, man. Booyah. We're done with that crap. We'll have to redo that garbage. Because that's that done out of the way. Full shizzle. Alright, there we go. The fan here. Give me some of your biggest fan. Dude! Don't run your nose into that. You'll have it chopped off. Then you have yourself a nice little pocket right in your nose and you can, like, store stuff in. 
There we go. I don't know why I just did that. I'm not gonna go... Well, it's not like I'm on a time... I'm gonna be timing it, but I'm not going for that, so... It's all good. There we go. Come on. Can we, like, line ourselves up a little bit here? Appreciate it. Get across here. Okay. Thank you. And we're gonna get these notes and get this crap out of here. And get the fudge out of here. This place is just nuts. Who wants to spend their life in a freaking engine room where stuff wants to kill you constantly? Seriously. Alrighty. Come over here and get this mumbo token. There we go. This. And we are done in here. Whoa, dude, don't. Don't even joke like that. That's not even funny. Of course, it probably would be funny to others if they but then hear me go, No! Like, really dramatic-like. You think I'm gonna fall for that crap again? Nuh uh Not this case, sir. Not this time. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. So, uh, with me finishing the engine room up, I'd say that's quite an episode right there, even though it wasn't much crap done. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, and we will continue our run through Rusty Bucket Bay. So, see you then!